Our first guest is the host of his uh, very, very own, uh, very popular Sirius uh, satellite radio program. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the one, the only, Howard Stern. Howard. <laughs> You know, it's, uh, you know I, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to come on the show. I wanted to have something relevant to say, uh -huh. but I felt it's Christmas. Yes. I'm now on satellite radio. Right. I put on this outfit, and I brought you a beautiful gift of Sirius Satellite Radio. Oh it God, is the Howard. brand new oh my stiletto. God. Wow. And in the true Christmas spirit, I have brought satellite radio for everyone oh in the audience. Oh, my God. Look at You know what I feel like? I feel like the white Oprah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I watch these shows. I see Oprah giving away yes. radios. She gives away cars. That I could give this right. to your audience uh, tonight. It's a white Oprah. Would it, have, would it have killed you to wax, for I, God's sakes? I don't know. You know, I got to tell you, uh, you know, now that I'm on satellite, they How's report, that going, by the way? It is going so great. We started out with 600,000 listeners in one year. Right. January will be one year. We now have almost 6 million, I understand. Whoa, so, God. We're growing. And it's a... Uh, and what... What is it now that the listeners uh, get that they used to not be able to get for free? What is it they're paying for now that they get that they well, couldn't get all, for it's free? A, it's a much better experience. I'm happier. Uh -huh. uh, the show is better. <laughs> but, but, but really, is that what people want you? I don't think people, people want, want a you happy have... Howard. <laughs> you know what it is, Dave? It's a lot of freedom. Uh, uh -huh. We get on there. There's less commercials. Right. We only have a couple an hour. You can really let things go. People seem to be is it the same group of folks? Same group is it, of folks. Is Baba Booey still with Baba you? Buhai is still there, Thank and the language, goodness. the language is even looser, and uh -huh. people loosen up as a result. Right. You know how sometimes a guest can be uptight, but even my staff, the first week we get there, we had staff revelations. Everyone had to reveal something about themselves mm -hmm. that was unusual. Robin comes on, who works with me to over 20 years, and says, I have something to admit. I use meat and vegetables to pleasure myself. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, how well... Right? It's crazy. How well do you really know a person? You know what I mean? How long have you been working with Paul? Has she ever used a chalupa? <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy he is. Jenna Jameson, the porn star, comes on. Looks beautiful, looks good, you now know. Don't tell me there's something weird about her. <laughs> there was. It turns out, she comes on the show, and she starts telling me that she did a promotion with Jenny McCarthy, beautiful Jenny uh, McCarthy, yes. and she says, I went into the ladies' room with her, and we got to third base with each other. Wow. Now, let me tell you something. On the old kind of radio, you couldn't even say third base. Really? You know, everyone would be like, third base, they come running in the room, they start hitting buttons and all this, and we're talking about third base. Well, what exactly is third base, Howard? <laughs> Third you want to know? Yes, I would like to know. Well, Dave, uh, and this is something you're going to have to talk to your son about eventually, mm -hmm. I know. So this is good for you to keep... Well, it's, it's hard to describe on uh, regular television, but uh, th there is a manipulation with fingers that are involved in going underneath <laughs> people's clothing. Uh, this coming from a man in a dress, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but it's great, and I'll tell you, thank you. 
<laughs> it's not a dress. It's more like what Nesferatu would wear. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's something special for the occasion. Now, but I'm loving... Let's talk about the yeah. holiday season. I, I heard something this afternoon I, I had trouble believing because I kind of thought you were like me, that, you know, you didn't really go to parties and stuff. And I heard you went to a big holiday party the other I'm night. I'm just like you. <laughs> I'm very much like you. <laughs> I don't leave the house. Right. I make a lot of money. Yeah. And nobody knows if I'm married or single or what. <laughs> By the way, how's that going? It's going very well so far. Still no matter. As long as we can get away with it. What, 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 you're kidding me. So you went to a, a Bryant Gumbel. you got to hear this. A, an you know, old associate of ours at NBC. i got to tell you, i got to tell you something. Since I got on this satellite radio, mm -hmm. I'm accepted by a whole new crew. Really? I find that celebrities want to hang around with me, and I'm very nervous doing this. I don't know if I'm accepted. I don't know anything. I meet Bryant Gumbel and his wife. Lovely woman, nice people. I right. figure this guy hates me. Turns out he likes me. Mm -hmm. He's a fan, and he invites me to his Christmas party. This is wow. just the other night. So I decided to go. And I got a lot of trepidation because I don't know who's going to be there. Sure. I walk in. Who's the first person I see at Brian Gumbel's party? Oprah's best friend, Gail King. Oh. I immediately say to my girlfriend, let's get out of here. This can't go well. Right. I'm a nervous wreck. So she says, no, it's going to be fine. We avoid her. There's plenty of rooms in Brian Gumbel's apartment. This guy did pretty well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, so I walk and I avoid this woman, yeah. and uh, all of a sudden I hear, Howard, 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 who is it? Gail King. Okay, sure. Next thing I know, lovely woman, I'm starting to realize why Oprah loves this Gail King. This woman is so engaging, she's engaging Very me nice. in conversation, yeah. I can't believe it. I go, what if I was to steal Oprah's best friend? Right. Imagine <laughs> you open up the newspaper. <laughs> Oprah's best friend. Oprah, I, and you know, it was a lovely conversation. Woman was great, and I'm getting nervous. Finally, she drops the bomb. She goes, you know, Oprah and I know everything you say, uh -oh. and you've said terrible things about Oprah. And I go, listen, I don't remember yesterday. Right. I don't know what right. I said about Oprah. I know I've said horrible things about Oprah, but you know you had your thing with Oprah. She said, didn't you say that you wanted Oprah to eat a ham sandwich and die and choke on a ham sandwich? <laughs> I said, I might have said that, yeah. but uh, who the hell knows? Exactly. I don't know. You can't keep track of that kind of thing. Uh, these celebrity but, parties. But let, let me ask you this. Now, yeah. uh, because human nature being what it is, now that you've had this encounter this lovely evening with uh, Gail King, yes. would you now think uh, twice about saying things about Oprah in the uh, future? Let me tell you something. My audience knows this. Mm -hmm. I got to talk about Oprah. I'm not changing for anybody. Right. This is it. But, but, but I do, I got to tell you, it does make you think. You know, you don't want to, you know, and this was like kind of a nightmare for me because right. I decided, let me walk away from Gail King, see who else is here. Mm -hmm. Brian Gumbel says, let me show you my media room. This guy, media, media room. where he watches sports, he's into sports. Uh, sure. I'm sitting there. Who walks in to the media room? Al Roker, who hates my guts. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I know he hates my guts, and I can't remember why this guy hates my guts. I'm sitting there, I go, I know I said something about Al Roker. Choking to death on a ham sandwich? No. no. I was talking to him about the fact, I, I was on the air, I said, listen, we know this guy stapled his stomach. Who are we kidding here? He didn't lose massive well, I, amounts I of weight. I he admitted that, didn't he? I don't know, not at first. And I got mad and I said, listen, this guy, every time I turn on the TV, he's eating barbecue, he's eating ribs, he's got all kinds <laughs> of things going on. You know he's got a pin in his stomach, he ought to come clean. Hated me for that. Yeah. So he walks in, I go, hi, Al. Uh -huh. He shakes my hand, we walk out of there like we're in a chain gang. Yeah. It was miserable. Yeah. Then I walk out, who's talking to Gail King stole her away from me. Spike Lee, he hates me. Really? Spike Lee hates me because I thought all of his movies were like amateur movies. It looked like NYU student movies, but I did like Malcolm X, and I said, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Uh -huh. And I did meet a friendly face. I met, uh, not Kathy Lee, the other one, Kelly Ripa. <laughs> the, other, the other one. The other one. Yeah, boy, your stock is soaring. I like her. I like her. I like anybody who's not Kathy Lee on but, that But show. again, Howard, did this give you any pause for consideration, any kind of introspection? If you're afraid to go out because people hate you because of the things you've said, honestly, that's got to work on you at some level. You know, maybe Dave, change a little you're bit. You're absolutely right. Sometimes I say to myself, maybe I should elevate myself. Maybe I should become an elder statesman of radio exactly. after all. And then I realize I'm the guy who comes on the Letterman show with no pants. What am I elevating? <laughs> I'm going nowhere fast. It ain't going to happen, Dave. We'll be right back here with Howard Stern, everybody. Are you enjoying, are you enjoying the whole oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tremendous.
Howard Stern, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm looking forward to Gwen Stefani coming out. Gwen I ran Stefani into her in the from, hall. Yeah. Lovely woman. I, oh, oh, this I got to tell you about. Uh, this is nice. This, this was is, a big decision. This is the Howard Stern Christmas card. This is you. Right. Yes. And, and uh, my girlfriend. Yes, yeah, she's beautiful, by yes. the way. Yes, she Love is. Me. You got to hear this, Dave. You know, from uh, Love, Howard, and Beth. Very yeah, nice. well, what it was is we sent one of these to Regis. Regis lives in my apartment building, mm -hmm. you know. He's in the same building as I am. And I said to Beth, I said, you know, I felt every year we sent out a Christmas card with our dog. Sure. And then I found other people were sending Christmas cards with their dog, and I wanted to do something original. So we took this picture, and I said, well, maybe it's obnoxious to take a picture of yourself and send it out like that. But she, my, my girlfriend convinced me we should send this out. This morning, Regis showed that card on his show, and he talked about it. So it's creating... It's creating something. So we sent it to my mother and father. <laughs> and uh, my mother uh, is speaking to my girlfriend, and she says, Oh, I got the uh, Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I'm like, what? You know, well, I look good. So oh, yeah. I get a hold of my mother and I say to her, I go, Ma, uh, what's this? She said, she says, uh, Beauty and the Beast. I said, oh, yeah? I said, I don't think it's nice that you call Beth a beast. <laughs> but uh, the, the fact of the matter is, the mother is supposed to take the son's side. She's mm -hmm. the one place of refuge, and here she's calling me the beast. And I got to tell you something. I don't feel good about myself in this face, and it's been pretty hard going through life with this. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, you think your mother would love it. <laughs> I was going to call her on the air and give her, I was going to Tell her, you don't look too good either. But I, I didn't go there. I don't know. But, you know, listen, Dave, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. You know, you I, seem happy. You seem pretty happy. I'm, I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy on satellite radio. Mm -hmm. Serious, God bless you. I got my own TV channel, TV Howard channel, TV. Right. I'm on what, what, is the, what is the Howard TV exactly? What, what is, what is Howard TV? Howard TV is great moments from our radio show, uncensored. Uh, we're in the studio. It's mm -hmm. wild. Uh, I brought you a clip. I don't know if you want to play it. You're very anti-clip. There's a lot of rules on this show. You've got to be very careful. <laughs> let's, let's see the clip. You want to see a clip? Oh, Here's it, something from Howard wait, TV. Wait a minute. We'll, we'll, yeah. do, we'll do a thing here, and we'll come back, and then we'll take a look at the clip. I'm going to let you see this. It's going to blow your mind. All right, we'll, All right. we'll be right back with Howard Stern. All right. Um, oh, is this fun? We're going to see a clip here. Now, this is something from uh, Howard to TV. Now, does this cost people? I, is this free? Yes, or is it this, does. Yeah. I took my whole operation underground. Right. This, is the, uh, this is the longest I've been above ground. I'm mm -hmm. like in a bunker. I uh, took my radio show off of regular radio, right. went to Sirius, and then I took my TV show off of the E! Network, and I put it on a network where we set up our own thing. It's completely uncensored. But I brought you a nice tank. How, Howard... Howard TV. Howard TV. Yeah, what, what does this cost us? Do, do we want to see this? This is probably about uh, 12 or 13 bucks a month, mm -hmm. and you get a huge menu when you sign on. It's right. all on demand. You can watch whatever you want, and uh, this is just one little exciting moment from would have, Howard TV. It would have been TV. nice if you brought everybody in the audience a TV as well to go with this. <laughs> I was pressing it on the satellite radios. You should see how long it took me to get them to give those up. But All you right, get so them when you walk out uh, of the studio. The, uh, the clip here that we're going to see is, uh, t tell us what we're looking at. What you're looking at here is a character named Jeff the Drunk. He shows up on Jeff my show. Right. He came up into the halls. We keep our cameras on even behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So not only do you see the show, right. but you see what goes on behind the scenes. And here's Jeff. He shows up to my studio drunk, and he's having trouble staying on his feet. But we keep the camera on him. It's a lot of tension. It's a lot. It's, it's reality television. At its best. Here we go. Get the out of That was a good one. Jeff, you going like that? No! You all right? Yeah, I'm being, it doesn't, it doesn't I'm being told he's all right. He's, he's all right. Fine. He's fine. I'm being told he's all right. Yeah, you know, it's a funny thing. Now it's satellite radio. Uh, $12 a month. That's an unbelievable bargain. <laughs> but that's not all. To 
get that at $12 a month, that's like stealing. Are you yeah, kidding me? It's, uh, <laughs> it's very important television, I got to say. You know, in this day and age of, uh, you know, of, of Dancing with the Stars, you, sure. you, you, know, you got to yeah. keep up. Absolutely. But, but, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> It's really crazy. The, the, the fact of the matter is, uh, there's a guy, you know, I'll tell you how nuts it gets now mm -hmm. in satellite, because there's no holes barred. Right. This guy I had on the show for years, his name is Siobhan. He's a transsexual. Mm. He saved up a lot of money, got the operation, he cut off his thing, and he gets himself female private parts finally. He calls me up and he oh. says, Howard, can you help me out? No man wants me. You have to see this guy, looks like a train wreck, Siobhan. <laughs> and uh, I know that. I said to him, Siobhan, no one's going to have sex with you. You're a transsexual. You have no, but you don't even look close to a woman. Mm, uh. you, I, I look better as a woman than you do. <laughs> so he says, that's not true. You can find me someone. I, I get guys to come down to the studio to have sex, which th she's a total virgin in a uh -huh. sense. No one's ever used these uh, private parts right, that fine. they created. <laughs> Five guys come down. Five guys. Each, first guy we send into a room to have sex with Siobhan. He throws up. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Over. Oh. Now, this is all on film. Yeah. The next guy comes in. Each guy successively cannot get aroused. You mm. can imagine. Yeah. You could imagine well, what yes, it's like. Kind of okay. Sure. In your mind, this is a guy. I, I kind of can imagine. Well, the, yes. fifth guy, the fifth guy comes in. Touchdown. <laughs> the whole thing lasted two seconds. And Dave, I am so happy with what I'm doing for this country. God bless you, Howard. I'm really on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Always a pleasure. Happy holidays. Happy Good to see you. Howard Stern, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your